Square Books, just down the street from the University of Mississippi in Oxford, celebrates 45 years in business this year. Hard to believe it's been that long. Well, in tonight's five-star story, Kim Clark reveals how the bookstore on the historic Oxford Square grew from very humble beginnings into a 10,000-square-foot literary juggernaut. The Oxford, Mississippi Town Square, first made legendary in the 1920s by future Nobel Prize winning author William Faulkner, even now maintains a rich literary legacy. We're, we're lucky we're in Mississippi. It's such a rich literary state. There's so many great writers. There's probably 30 writers living here right now. Cody Morrison is the inventory manager at Square Books on the Oxford Square, the town's first real bookstore established in 1979 by Lisa and Richard Howard. I'd saved $10,000. Um, I went to see Mr. Cooper at the bank next door and uh, four t times to ask for another $10,000. Finally got it, and that's kind of what we started on. After renovating the space, the Howorths opened up shop in the small upstairs location on the east side of the square. And from the start, Square Books was a hit. I remember the, the night we opened, we had an opening night party, and uh, and the next day we sold, you know, we were selling lots of books. It was like, oh my goodness, we're going to sell all the books we had. <laughs> <laughs> the customer base is centered around Oxford and the university, but the selection of books focuses on literature about Mississippi and the South, something that wasn't commonly found on most bookstore shelves when Square Books first opened. Because uh, let's admit it, we've all had our, we've had a, our, a difficult past mm -hmm. in lots of ways. And so, you know, part of what we're trying to do at the store, not to be too grandiose, is make a, a positive statement. Uh, with respect to all of that. That inventory coupled with book signings and readings with the authors. Uh, also, there's some famous writers, uh, Willie Morris from Mississippi and later Barry Hanna. Um, we're here to uh, help give them, you know, a base of, of literary um, writers to draw from. Square Books soon needed more room and found it in this historic two-story building on the north side of the square. People who owned this uh, business, it was a drugstore, as I say, and uh, the uh, father had been gone for a while and the family decided they, were, they would sell it. So I bought this bill in 1984. After two years of renovations, Square Books moved into the former Blaylock drugstore, complete with a second story balcony and cafe, where the first espresso was sold in Oxford. In late 1993, Howorth opened an annex at 129 Courthouse Square, just a short stroll away from the main store. And it's our lifestyle store. It has uh, cooking, gardening, uh, magazines, travel, some used books. Uh, it's also where we host our events. The Off Square Books location hosts roughly 150 different authors every year, with lesser known and famous writers. You know, John Grisham uh, was here for a while, and we supported him very early on in his career, and in turn, he's supported us. We've gotten, you know, far and wide uh, authors from all over the country and all over the world to come. Today, Square Books consists of four different stores all on the Oxford Square, including Square Books Junior, filled with books, games, and toys. So they've got their very own place and they know it. They, as soon as they walk in the door, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're in heaven. While just above, in the same spot where it all started is rare square books, featuring vintage collectibles and first editions. With a total of roughly 50,000 titles, avid readers are bound to find something in either location. This racket uh, of, of noise that we have today from social media and you know everybody's just shouting at each other. Um, books contain you know a quiet but often persuasive argument for some of those. On the town square in Oxford, Kim Clark, Action News 5. Well, Square Books founder Richard Howorth was the mayor of Oxford from 2001 through 2009 and is the former president of the American Booksellers Association. To learn more about the history of Square Books or see their events calendar, click on the link with this story on our website, actionnews5.com.